Hi, I am Siyaksha Taudupa. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss one of the very best strategy for swing trading. You can either consider this for swing trading or you can even do positional trades. That is, you can hold it for just two or three days and if your target is reached, then you can exit. If you are a swing trader, then this strategy is going to be very good strategy and most of the cases you will end up in making good profits. Before that, if you want to open a trading account, then you can open it either with Zeroda, Upstock or Ellis Blue using my referral link. If you open an account using my referral link, you will get free access to our swing trade indicator. And if you have not yet joined my free telegram channel that is Udupa Finance then do join using the link that is given in the description. This telegram channel is absolutely for free. Here I will be sharing bank nifty and nifty levels before the market opens. You will also receive intraday stock list and also key stocks to watch. So you can just keep these stocks in your watch list and you can look for the opportunity during the trading hours. So the link to uh, our free telegram channel that is Udupa Finance is given in the description. We have only one telegram channel that is Udupa Finance. And also please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon. So without any further ado, let's quickly get into the chart and check how the strategy works. Usually whenever you do swing trading, it is always better to use larger time frame. That is you can use either a uh, daily time frame or you can use a uh, four hourly time frame but make sure you don't go with the shorter time frames because that will not give you a clear picture when you have to uh, hold the stock so uh, let us now consider with a uh, four hours time frame so i have taken a stock for example that is asian paints now if you observe over here the stock has made a very good rally from here to here right the stock moved in the upward direction for a long term after that here if you observe there is a rectangle formation that is for a quite a long time stock was in this range itself if you clearly see it was between the range of 3430 and 3350 so what you can do is you can just draw a rectangular box there giving some buffer that is you can say a breathable space so that whenever the stock breaks from this level you can look for the opportunity that is if you see over here if the stock goes above this rectangular box that is if the candle or the stock gives a closure above this rectangular box then you can go for buying and if the stock gives a closure below over here then you can look for selling obviously if you're going for selling then you will have to trade in futures or options so if you're trading in options then you can just go about and buy put options so the swing trade can be done both for stocks as well as in uh, f and o segment but if you are doing it in stocks then you can look only for buying that is if you are doing an equity segment if you are doing an f and o then you can look for both buy as well as sell that is whenever a uh, buy comes if you are an option trader then you can go for buying of ce and whenever sell comes you can go for buying of p so whenever a uh, stagnation happens that means the stock is going to give a very big boom whenever it gives a breakout from that particular box so if we check some more examples see here for quite a long time stock gave a very good downside moment and after that you can see it was stagnant for some time that is it was in the same zone it just went up to 3000 and then again came back again you can see at around 2920 it again bounced back so for a quite a long time it was in the same zone so give some breathable space so that our trades will be more accurate and whenever the stock gives breakout from this level you can look for buying over here so if we buy somewhere at this point then you can see after that the stock moved in the upward direction for a long time now what can be your stop loss and uh, target of course we cannot keep the stop loss since we are doing the uh, swing trade but what you can do is you can just measure this and see how many points it comes to and you can keep the same point as target over here or little more than that you can just measure over here how many points it comes to 
so here it comes to almost 115 points so in the upside also you can keep just a uh, more than 115 maybe 150 points as your target and for stop loss you can just consider the stock coming out of this box so in case the stock moves like this upwards and before reaching our target if it comes down and breaks down this box rectangular box then you will exit so similarly if you go on checking wherever you consider whenever there is a very good movement and then a stagnation a very big movement is expected so here again if you observe after a very good rally here came the stagnation period after that you can see over here a very good fall has happened right so if you are trading in options then you can go about and buy put options after that and you can hold for some time you can see a very good movement happening now here if you observe a very good rally towards downside and then here is a rectangular box formation almost at this level right here itself the stock gave a breakout from this level but it did a retracement over here then you can see another double uh, top pattern being formed but as i say we will keep a small breathable space over here before directly exactly keeping the stop loss at this level we'll give some buffer and then see how much points it, it comes to whenever it breaks down this rectangular box you will exit but here you can see the stock was almost again continued to be in the stagnant mode for some more time so you can see here now from here the rectangular box came somewhere to this point right it was in the same zone but after that when it started the moment you can see it gave a very good moment now had you taken entry somewhere at this point definitely your waiting period was more but after that you can see a very good upside moment easily more than 1 is to 1.5 rr is reached over here Similarly, whichever stock you take, you will find the same logic. You can either go with 4 hourly time frame or you can try a 1 day time frame. So higher the time frame, it is better because we are doing swing trades over here. Before checking the next chart, I have an important announcement for you all. That is, I will be conducting a live webinar wherein I will be discussing one of the best scalping strategy for Bank Nifty, Nifty and Fin Nifty. This webinar will be held on Friday that is the coming Friday. So you can join this webinar, you can just register using the link that is given in the description. Along with the strategy, I have also many other bonuses that I will offer to you. So do not miss this opportunity. You can also join my free telegram channel that is Urupa Finance for more details and also for the reminders about this webinar. So here see a very good rally happened for a long time after that you can see a small retracement happened and then the stock went to a sideways zone. You can see over here the stock was in the sideways zone for a long time. Now just measure how much this comes to and if you take the entry say at this breakout at this breakout here anyways we saw a breakout happening but the candle did not close above this rectangular box so take the entry only if the candle closes above the rectangular box and we saw another retracement over here but after that you can see a very good upside movement happening this will be your stop loss and then you can see a very good upward rally happening so when you go for the larger time frames accuracy will be more now if we change this to one day time frame and check let's see how it will look see here it is still more precise you can see a very good upside movement happening here and then a stagnation mode almost here we saw that the stock was consolidating after that a very good uh, breakout happened that is this was a very good candle giving a very good breakout after that a small retracement but then you can see a boom happening so when you consider for swing trade obviously you are going to wait for some days at least for a month or so so when you consider the larger time frames and trade most of the times it is going to give you a very good uh, returns so if we check another stock say reliance 
again uh, you can check either daily time frame or four hourly time frame so you can see a very good rally happening yes till here a very good rally happened and after that you can see some consolidation happening at this area and then you can see a very good fall happening so like this you can just go on checking different stocks so whenever you see a very good movement happening after which if the stock goes into a sideways zone then obviously it is going to give some very big movement either on the upside or on the downside so if you are trading only in equity segment then you can look only for the upside breakouts and when the stock gives a breakout from the triangle on the upper side you can go for buying if you are doing fno then you can look for both that is buying as well as for shorting you can see over here one last example downside movement and then sideways movement and then a breakout then of course here we saw some more period of stagnation and then boom so almost most of the time you will see a very good movement happening and the to the larger time the stock goes into sideways movement the movement will be big so whenever you see a small stagnation period you might get some small movements and when you see uh, for a longer period the stock going into uh, sideways you will see a very good movement after that so uh, like this you can check on any stocks be it a very good stocks like tcs or wipro or be it any small cap stock or mid cap stock whichever stock it is this is going to be the pattern in which the stock moves so uh, like this you can check as many stocks as you can and you can see if it works for you so this strategy can be improvised in any other ways you can also add some indicators like moving average you can use 200 moving average and see if the stock is in the uptrend or downtrend and then you can apply the same theory and take the trade so there is always scope for improvisation so yeah if you like this video please give it a like and if you want to join our option buying course then you can check out this link which is given in the description the super profile is given there you can check out our qti you can check out our uh, option buying course and many other options that are available so yeah if you like this video please give it a like and also don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel and press the bell icon i will be back with another informative content very soon till then take care bye bye